Back in May 2014, when I buy power and Titan Katowice 2014 stickers were worth almost nothing and the CSGO Pro scene was just emerging, the Huntsman weapon case was released. One of the coolest drops from this case was a red M4A4 with a howling wolf on the body. But looking at this case now, instead of that cool M4, we see some dull M4A4 Desert Strike. Also, looking at the wolf itself now, it's somehow yellow contraband quality for some reason. Why did this happen? Today you'll learn the story and scandal behind the most expensive and popular M4 in CSGO, and coincidentally the only yellow quality contraband weapon skin. This is Farm Skins. Enjoy the video. And of course, we can't leave you without a giveaway. Comment what skin you want us to make a video about, or just share your favorite one. A few random commentators will receive a case code, but don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Only by meeting all these conditions will you participate in the giveaway. And please, include your Twitter name so we can contact you. It's important to remember, there weren't many skins in 2014. The only decent M4 skins were the M4A4 Asimov, the M4A4 Bullet Rain, and also the M4A4 X-Ray. In March 2014, a Steam user named Auzi, in collaboration with SIC, uploaded a M4A4 skin to the workshop called Howling Dawn, along with the same name sticker. The description was quite strange. The design is inspired by a photo of my dog. Could the author pet really look like a real wolf? An explanation followed, but it didn't get much clearer. In a way, I created this skin because my dog is the exact opposite of a wolf. The skin was so well met by the audience and Valve themselves that it appeared in the Huntsman case collection as early as May 2014. Just take a moment and look at what the old Huntsman case used to be. The case also included five other skins related to the house authors. USPS, Orion, Dual Berettas Retribution, P90 Desert Warfare, CZ75 Auto, Poison Dart, as well as the incredible AK-47 Vulcan, and of course, the Huntsman Knives. Adding this case, Valve really wanted people to open a lot of them. On June 12, the real artwork author surfaced. The one used for the Howling Dawn skin and sticker, it turned out the image was stolen. Not thinking twice, he filed a copyright claim. I didn't upload the items to the Steam Workshop, and the spineless worm who did, didn't get any permission from me. The artist was furious after learning his work was stolen. Valve themselves, despite how much we often criticize them, handled this situation quite deftly. The developers understood that keeping the skin in CSGO was impossible, but at the same time completely removing it from the game would be wrong, since many had paid to occur the weapon. The stolen skins author were permanently banned from the workshop. All skins from cases and stickers from capsules associated with these guys were also removed. That's over 10 skins and stickers, by the way. It was decided to keep the M4A4 howl in the game, but they couldn't leave it looking exactly the same, since that was stolen art. So Valve decided to redo the artwork on both the M4 M4 and its same named sticker. The redesigned M4 and sticker became the only contraband quality items in CSGO's history. Since then, the M4 A4 Howl could no longer be unboxed or obtained via trade-up. After this point, a fixed number of M4 A4 Howl copies remained in the game, with no new ones obtainable. Of course, the price skyrocketed after that. Interestingly, the M4A4 Howell didn't immediately start breaking price ceilings after being removed from cases. The value did increase, but not nearly as much as compared to today's prices. Imagine if something similar happened today. For example, if they said The print stream design is stolen, so we are removing all print stream skins from the collection and making them contraband. The price would shatter records instantly. But back then, even though the price grew 10 times in 3 months, it didn't budge for another 3.5 years after that. An exclusive skin no longer obtainable with that kind of story, yet the price didn't move for three years. Eventually, some wealthy collectors probably start buying them up. That's when it took off. There were just over 6,000 M4A4 Howl copies total. A large portion of those M4A4 Howls sit in banned and forgotten inventories. The rest are in collectors' inventories after stockpiling and have no plans to sell anytime soon. 
so even the most battered M4A4 Howl will cost you $1800 and that's for a well-worn version. So even the shabbiest version has retained its art's full beauty. In May 2021, one of the most expensive skin deals in history took place. An M4A4 Howl factory new with four iBuy Power eSports stickers from EMS1 Katowice 2014 Major sold for $122,000. The buyer was a collector from Denmark named Luxusbums. He previously purchased the most expensive skin in the game's history as well. An AK-47 case hardened with four Titan eSports holo stickers from the Katowice Major. That deal cost him $150,000. After such a loud scandal, there was one very amusing case. It involved the M4A4 Griffin from the Vanguard collection. You may have never heard of it since the skin is quite old. In September 2015, someone spread a rumor that this art was also stolen and it would soon become the second contraband M4 in the game. The M4's price doubled overnight, but time passed, the M4 wasn't redesigned or changed rarity. Plus, the M4 was only purple rarity, meaning there were tons of them. Anyway, the story didn't amount to anything interesting. There are also several M4s in the game with and without a silencer that could be considered howl budget options. We have the M4A4 Dragon King, the M4A4 Tooth Fairy, and the M4A4 Griffin itself. Also mythical creatures placed on the side looking towards the barrel. Despite each of these skins being good on their own, they still pale in comparison to the M4A4 Howl. Many also say the M4A1S Welcome to the Jungle is the new Howl, not even close. A small snake in a red color isn't enough to be a second Howl. In our opinion, the closest M4 to the Howl is the M4A1S Nightmare. It's literally a Howl inverted. Instead of fiery red and a devilish creature, here we have some chilling ghost beast. Looks really cool. Just imagine if it had Howl-like rarity, or at least red from a very old 2013-2014 case. It would be an extremely expensive M4 today. Due to its scandals history, insane rarity and beautiful artwork, the M4A4 Howl can rightly be considered the most expensive, legendary and one of the most beautiful M4s in CSGO. Friends, if you enjoy stories like this, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It's hugely motivating. See you next time.